Brother is one of those ones where I can tell you guys that it is a film, not a movie. And on the surface, that sentence doesn't make any sense, right? But you immediately know the type of vibe you're going to be getting with this movie with a sentence like that, right? I can't be alone in this. But the question still remains, is it actually worth watching? Hey guys, my name is Brandon, aka The Brando Critic. Thank you guys so much for being here today. I really do appreciate it. I moved the camera down so you guys can see more of the background and I'm a bit lower to the floor, a bit more of a relaxed podcast-like posture. I'm trying to make the videos feel a little bit more relaxed. So let me know how this goes. But I was able to see Brother a few days early and I'm here to give you my honest, no BS, non-spoiler review for you today and tell you if it's actually worth a watch. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video so that you guys know my rating of the film or else you might be going into a film that might not be right for you and I do not want you guys to waste your time but if you guys have seen brother let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below like I say in every video there's no right or wrong answer all of this is just opinion so with that being said let's get started so Clement Virgo is our director for brother and he has done a lot of work on TV with episodes of Book of Negroes and Empire and that Jeffrey Dahmer Netflix special and it stars Lamar Johnson and Aaron Pierre and the story is about two brothers growing up in a bad neighborhood outside of Toronto and of course there's questions about masculinity and race and growing up and family all that fun stuff in a film not a movie so my thoughts on this movie, I'm going to interchange the words throughout the entire video, but you know what I mean. This film definitely focuses more on the artisticness rather than just telling a cohesive story. Not saying that there's not a cohesive story in this movie. Well, let's dive into it, shall we? So my relationship with this movie is that as soon as I saw the poster, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, I know exactly what this movie is going to be about. I know exactly what I'm going to get. You're not going to get the typical 3X structure. You're not going to get a hero's journey. This is going to be an artistic movie, not necessarily the most contemporary blockbuster in the world and the story is about two brothers single mom no dad bad neighborhood older brother has to be the father figure and be wiser above his years and the younger brother will be looking up to him for guidance and will just think the world of him and you just know like I'm not speaking out of my with this one you just know that something's gonna happen to one of them right it's just that kind of movie add in some gang violence add in some police brutality you know exactly what kind of movie you're gonna get now no spoilers but it's the exact movie I thought I was gonna get. Now I should warn you guys that by watching the trailer for this movie, it gives away the entire movie. So I'll be showing some clips from it, but I won't have any audio from the trailer. So I'll be saving you guys there. But this is a slice of life movie. What do I mean by that? Sometimes movies just need to showcase certain scenarios about a character's life in a certain situation. And that's exactly what Brother is. You see how our two characters have to grow up with a mother who has to work a ton of overtime because the father is not there. So she has to provide for her kids. You see how the kids learn that they live in a bad neighborhood with lots of crime. They're teenage boys. So of course they're going through puberty. They're getting crushes on girls. They're meeting girls. They're talking to them, forming relationships. You see that here too. Dealing with bullies, dealing with gangs. There's an absent father involved. And with many stories about absent fathers, most of the time characters try to find them. So yes, that's here too. And of course there's police injustice in this movie. So you do see how characters in this situation handle things like that. And sometimes that's all you need. Sometimes all you need is just for characters that you like and are interesting to go through certain scenarios that you might not go through yourself, but realistic enough that you can feel their pain, their struggle, and identify with their hardships. And that's where the heart of this movie lies. The relationship between the two brothers, Michael and Francis. We care about them. We see their bond. We see their relationship. And it's very heartwarming to see. We like when Francis tells Michael some wisdom. We like it when Francis is sticking up for his little brother when he's getting bullied by other gang members. We like seeing how Michael does not really have have much confidence in the beginning of the movie but then eventually he does have some confidence and stands up to his mom his brother and to other outside forces and by the way guys if you're liking this video so far hit the like button I really appreciate it so this is a slice of life movie however with most slice of life movies I can only be invested for so long especially when you know exactly what's coming like I said earlier the movie didn't challenge me in any ways it didn't throw me for any twists and turns now they told the story out of order they did not tell it in chronological order, AKA events happen like this, 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 but we're gonna be showing you from here and here and here and here and here and here and here. And I really believe this. The only reason why they did that was to push that moment, the moment where everything changes to the end, even though in the story, it doesn't actually happen at the end of the story. It happens in the middle, but we get told it by the end. And that's the thing, you know that that moment, I won't spoil it, but it's coming. 
you know exactly what's going to happen when you see the poster, especially if you watch the trailer. But even if you haven't seen the poster or the trailer, I do believe that you guys have enough intelligence to put the pieces together. You know, in this certain scenario, something's going to happen. And it felt like to me, the movie felt like it was a bit more clever trying to hide it from us, even though we, we all know it's coming. So that's unfortunate with this movie, but it is a completely competently made indie art house drama. Lots of neon colors, the out of order storytelling, lots of tropes with this type of movie are here. Tackles issues of race, masculinity, family, there's some social commentary in there. Nothing groundbreaking, but it's the relationship between the characters and the acting that really keeps this movie watchable. Keeps us invested, and that's the real heart of this movie, which is a good thing. So for my overall rating, I'm gonna give Brother a 3 out of 5. I enjoyed it. Would I watch it again? Probably not, but I can't deny that this movie is well made. It kept me invested throughout the entire thing, and I liked the characters. I wanted to see these characters succeed. I wanted to hang out with them. I wanted to be a part of their journey. So overall, yes, worth a watch. Thumbs up. So those are my thoughts on Brother. If you've seen the movie, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. And if you guys like this video, then I would definitely appreciate it if you guys hit the like and subscribe button. I really, really do appreciate it. It helps out the channel more than you think. But if you want to support the channel even further and join the exclusive community, then join my Patreon. The link is down below in the description. We watch movies every single month together and discuss them. It's a great time. We have monthly video chats. I give you guys movies every single month and you guys get to see content early. It's a great time if you want to join the exclusive family. The link is down below. Thank you guys so much for watching again and I hope to see you guys guys in the next video. Take care.